ever seen something really neat on this side of the road and thought, I could make something with that? That's the case today. I'm at my local recycling and I happen to notice this beautiful trunk that somebody dropped off in the background. It seems to be in really good condition. I'm thinking somebody um, knew that it had potential and didn't have the heart to throw it in the dumpster. So I'm going to take it home and clean it up and see what I can come up with. And I invite you to stay with me and see what I do with it. Luckily, they included a template that shows the cutout size, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to cut this out. Now what I'm going to do is find dead center and trace that template. I measured and found the center this way and this way. So here's my center, and I took the template. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but this is how I'm going to do it. I folded it in half. I found center, I'm going to line that up, and I just have, and now I'm going to flip it open. And that should be evenly spaced. So I'm going to tack it down, and I'm going to measure it all the way around to make sure. Okay, I found center. Now that I'm happy with where my template is placed, I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to mark around the perimeter of the template. Now this is a black Sharpie and even though my surface is black, I can still see um, where I've marked. I'm taking my jigsaw out of the box for the first time and I noticed it does come with two blades and I'll probably use them both because uh, the majority of the top of this is it feels like a real thick cardboard or maybe some wood even um, so i'll be using the wood blade that goes with that but then on each side there's this uh, metal strip that i intend on leaving intact i like the look of it so if i can get away with it i'm gonna i'm gonna leave part of that um, and i will be using for that part the little metal one that came with it okay the next part of this i'm actually going to shoot um, i have moved the trunk down to the ground i feel it's a little more secure and i can kind of get over the project rather than up on those horses. So what I'm gonna do is um, insert a drill bit and I'm gonna make a hole in this 
Uh, I'm going to kind of come away from the perimeter of where I want to be cutting, um, but I'm going to make a hole in this and then use my jigsaw to go around that. So I'm going to go in, yeah, it's probably about an inch and a half. And always, when you're using any kind of saw, anything that can throw sawdust or pieces or what have you, you always, I don't know, this might be a little overkill with the earplugs, but definitely the eye protection. butter. I am in love with this already. So I went ahead and cut that out. What I may do just for safe measure, um, over time, I don't want the weight of that basin to um, kind of make this collapse. So I think what I'm going to do um, is add some two by fours and kind of give that a little bit of oomph. Um, but for right now, I'm going to do just a dry fit and see if I need to kind of sh shave that out anywhere. So let's see how well I did. This really is a nice old trunk. Someone, I think, um, rather than throwing it in inside the recycling bin like they could have, as you saw, they left it kind of out on the outside. And I think they did that because they knew there was potential. They just couldn't use it. And um, they probably secretly hoped somebody would rescue it. And I'm really glad I came along at the right time and found this. So let's see if I can do something neat with it. that's gonna work. I don't know how I feel about that metal. But I think for right now what I'm gonna do is cut some two by fours and kind of put them in this way um, and just give this just a little bit of strength. I mean you could do the trunk idea but maybe find a trunk that has a metal top. Um, being that this is kind of papery I don't think that this is something I would put into a bathroom that was going to be used a lot. Like I said, this is going in my pole barn. This is in a bathroom we use all the time. It's just usually me out here working. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't think that this would be something great. Like I said, either if it was metal or if you found something that you could maybe do like a clear coat or some kind of waterproof thing. It's going to look really neat though, I think. So, um, I mean, what am I out if it doesn't? $40? So, okay, I'm gonna continue on this. Okay, so after giving it a little bit of thought, I determined that I do want to cut these little strips off. They keep the basin from seating in there um, real tight. So just, I'm gonna use my better judgment. There's no real good way that I know of to cut these, being that I don't wanna cut back to that point for the whole sink opening. So what I did was just took a pair of um, pliers and I bent the, the metal right where I wanted to crease and I'm just kind of working it back and forth and that actually came off right where I wanted it to. So fingers crossed, let's try to do the other side. Same way. That should be exactly where I wanted to hit. Okay, next step I think is going to be um, building some kind of an interior support for this. I don't want that to sag over time. perfect okay so I spotted this stand in my neighbors um, they have a metal pile over here of scrap and I actually spied it when I was over at my sister-in-law's photographing my flags at that barn and I'm gonna take this home I think it will probably work a little bit longer or taller I should say than what I wanted I wanted about 24 inches high but my dad is a welder and I'm gonna see if he can help me trim this down. So I think I found my base.
concludes another video. I'd like to thank you all so much for supporting me and for watching. If you could leave a comment below, this is the first curbside rescue type video I've done and I'd like to do some more. So if you have an idea what you'd like to see on my channel, please let me know. What I'm really proud of in this uh, project is that I've taken all items that would have land ended up in a landfill. This trunk that I turned into a sink, uh, the trunk was found at the recycling. These pallets you see on the wall, they were, you know, thrown away behind businesses. And I, I took them all home, gave them a new life. I love them. Um, so going forward, like I said, I'd like to do more videos like that. If you have an idea, please let me know. If you also would like to do pallet walls like the one that you see here behind me, I actually did another video showing the process behind that. Um, also, if you would, please take a couple minutes uh, I did a video telling my story it talks about how 10 years ago my husband passed away unfortunately um, he was very handy I really didn't know how to do much for myself um, but that forced me to learn and to do things and it actually led to me doing this channel um, and becoming my friends call me Mr. Walt so um, it, it talks and tells about my story so if you could it'll help you understand me a little bit better um, and I really thank the guys for watching but it was really the ladies that I wanted to reach out there I want to inspire you I want to show you you can do things for yourself I feel that in the tool world uh, female representation is lacking um, and so that is what I hope to do so until next time I want to thank you um, I really appreciate all the support you've given me and I love you all. Take care. It's funny you're moving, but I can still see you. <laughs> and that uh, here's so the cutout size. So this one would work. Um, <laughs> I'm going to see what I can come up with. I have an idea. Stick